the first half and John Dillon bringing the ball down there for Damian Brennan who taps it on out there now but the ball is cut out there on the far side of the field and cleared down into the centre and this is Kevin Doherty for Clune getting it across there now to John Dillon he's tackled by Michael Fitzpatrick shaking off the tackle on the 45 metre line a left for a chat this high dropping out to the right of the goal on her left and it's gone wide and so after about three and a half minutes play in this uh, first half of the Division 2 Senior Football League final in Leitrim, played here in Drum Riley on the 29th of September 1985. This is Tommy Ty to bring you the commentary, and the man to bring you the pictures is from Carrick and Shannon, Sean Dagnan. The ball kicked out now out to the far side of the field, and the referee Tommy Moran from Baltimore has blown the whistle and awarded a free. John Dillon to take the free for Clune. Outs at the 45 metre line. And he kicks it a left for one, floating right in towards the general direction of the goal. And it's held in there by John Casey, but the referee blown the whistle and penalised the forwards for being in the square before the ball. Free out to Ahavas from their own parallelogram. John Casey kicks it out into the centre of the field. A uh, ball broken down and gone back across the 45 metre line. Jerry Gallagher going back, getting a toe to it. It's picked up now there by Dutch Doherty. He getting it inside. The kick from Frankie Bowen is blocked down and John Dillon now on the 13 metre line. A shot to Stribbling. It's Jerry Mulvey shot. It's a goal! <laughs> Jerry picking that one up on the edge of the parallelogram on the first goal of the game. That one coming after almost five minutes play in the first half, one goal for Clune, no score for Ahavas. And, well, we weren't on the air for the first three minutes, but after 30 seconds or so, well, Damien Brennan had a great chance of putting the ball in the net, but somehow he miscued and the shot went wide. John Casey with the kick out, and he chipped it a short one over here to his brother Peter. And Peter now, his kick half locked down, Dutch Doherty in position again. Sean Nickel there with him, and the Dutch now sending that one in there towards John Dillon. And John preparing, takes the shot, he sends it over the bar, it's 1-1. One, one. After five and a half minutes play in the first half, and Clune, well, they were in the Division 2 final last year, and Carrick and Shannon against Carrick Allen, that day they missed the boat. Today, well, in the early stages, they seem to be booking their tickets. And here comes John Casey's kick. And that is Sean Doherty again. His attempted kick is blocked down. Play down here now with Colin Morton chasing out after it there with Sean Quinn. The ball tapped back there now. And coming out with it, Seamus Tiernan. His kick is blocked down. It goes back to him on the 20 meter line. Tapping it out there now to Sean Quinn and the fair haired Sean coming up in front of the dugouts. And then sending the ball into the arms of the outcoming Peter Casey, who sends it down into the centre of the field. Michal Quinn in possession for Clune. He's tackled out there. He's still in possession. Not anymore. Damien Brennan trying to get to it. He's tapping it back there now. And it's Kevin Doherty. Kevin's kicked up down, and Sean Nickel coming out with it for Avas, kicking it low out along the ground. And Thomas Kelleher. Dropping it way out towards the far corner, rest for possession out there. And the ball is uh, gone out over the end line on the, or right over the sideline on the far side of the field. John Dillon to take the sideline kick, chipping it in there. And they're still tussling for it. The free out there on the 45 metre line. Fall there on Sean McKernan. Jerry Keeney to take the kick.
Canada on the far side of the field. Ball gone out over the sideline, far side of the field, sideline kicked the tune. To take the kick. Up along the sideline. And ball very near the sideline. The linesman is flagging. It's gone out over the sideline, far side of the field. Michal Quinn to take it. And Michal floating that one right up into the general direction of the goal. Ball held back there now by Adrian Nickel and Adrian carrying it out. And a foul out there on the far side of the field by Michal Quinn and as Sean McCarran had picked that one up, the referee had already blown the whistle and awarding a free out. According to my programme, it would be Anthony McCarran and who's going to take it. He was listed as number four on my programme, wearing number seven out there, 17 out there. We'll find out who that is in just a few minutes. Here comes the kick. A short one down along the wing, out over the sideline, far side of the field. Score remaining, 1-1 one, one to Clune. No score to Ahabas, and I make it nine and a half minutes gone as Frankie Bowen gets the ball and sends it right across. Enters the centre, Sean Nickel chasing back. He doesn't quite get to it, and the ball coming out to Sean Dutch. Now, how do you chips it inside? And Damian Brennan coming out to get it. West Hackle gets it, takes the shot. The shot is knocked down, and uh, Fenton... McIntyre it was who got the ball downfield, but here comes Brendan Conway getting it up again. Kevin Doherty on the far side of the field. Kevin Doherty getting it up there into the corner. And a high lobin dropping ball that's fisted out at the expense of a 45 there by Peter Casey and the 45 to Clune. The first 45 have now crossed 10 minutes play in the first half. Tommy Moran from Ballamore, the referee, throwing the ball out there. Let's see. It looks as if it's Michal Quinn who's going to take the 45. And I just noticed that the lines that I was going by earlier on happened to be Shores. And the kick swerving out there towards John Dillon. Ball broken down, Damian Brennan taking it, shooting across the face of the goal. Whistle has gone, free out. Pat Quinn there throwing the ball back to the Ahavas defenders for John Casey to take the kick out, or free out, or whatever it may be. And out it comes, dropping out about 45 metres. Jerry Gallogley, not the tallest out there, but getting that one. Loving it down, Joe McNamee coming out, not quite getting to it. Pat McCabe working his way in. He's been chased, still Pat McCabe in possession. Tries to make an angle for himself, takes the angle, makes the shot, takes the point. Good score there from Pat McCabe as he soloed through from that break in midfield. 1-1 one, one, to one point, clearing the leaders. Adrian Charles to take the kick out for Clun. Out towards this side of the field, Sean Nickel grabbing that one. Getting it down there now, pulled on and cleared out by Seamus Tiernan. And Frankie Bowen tapping it on there for Dutch Doherty. Michael Fitzpatrick was in there to try to get a foot to it. And now it's Damien Brennan. Tapping it back there now to Sean Quinn, and Sean Quinn kicking it high out to the right of the goal and the left, and it's gone wide, and the breeze blowing up here in Drum Riley, blowing up quite strong as we work from the roof of the new stand here, and whatever breeze it is, favouring Clown in the first half. And the ball tapped down. Anthony McCairn and foul as he tried to get out with that one. Colin Morton.
Colin Moran back to take the line ball. And down along the sideline or over the sideline. And it is another sideline. Frankie Bowen in there to tackle him. And Anthony picking it up way out there in the corner, tapping it up along the wing. And ball now across in there to Jerry Gallogley. Jerry on his way past referee Tommy Morden as he gets the ball out. Intended for Callum Morden, but they're still tussling for it down there. And now it's Michael Fitzpatrick who picks it up. Michael's kick blocked down there by Brendan Conway. Michael coming back and getting it there now. And chipping it down inside. Clinton McIntyre on for Sean Nicholl. A shot from Sean just curling out. Joe Casey racing after it. And so also was Francis Fitzpatrick, but the ball got out over the end line. Gone wide, score remains 1-1 one, one for Tune, one point for Arvass, and I make it that we're just about halfway through the first half. Sean McKeon and not quite grabbing that one out there, so Tune coming on to attack again, but that attack partially broken up by Jerry Gillogley. Frankie Bohan in there as well, Jerry Gillogley with the ball. He's tackled there by Kevin Doherty. Damian Brennan was out there as well. Tommy Morden blown the whistle, and Colin Morden gone out to take the free. Hands on hips. And another low kick down. Sean McKernan trying to pick it up, feeding it out there to Colin Morden, working his way down along the far side. He's half blocked out there now. And the ball is cleared up by Paulie Quinn up there now to Frankie Bohan. Frankie Bohan getting it up to Damien Brennan. Adrian Nicol out there with him. Damien Brennan kicking it across in there where Anthony McKernan coming out and grabbing it. Fisting it left-handed down there now to Colin Morden. Colin Morden chipping it across now to this, into the centre. Pat McCabe. Pat McCabe being chased there now by Thomas Kelleher. Being fouled by Thomas Kelleher. And there is a free to Ahavas in front of the goal and about 45 metres out from it. Let's see who's going to take it. Will it be Pat McCabe? Pat, the scorer of Ahavas's only score, kicking that one high, curling way out there towards the end line. Joe McNamee bringing it down and the clown fullback clearing that one out. And Pat McCabe got a boot to it, but he got it as far as Kevin Doherty, you know, gets it on there for Michal Quinn. And Michal Quinn being chased by Jerry Keeney, being tackled by Jerry Keeney, being fouled and a free in to Clune. John Dillon got out to take it and a good angle for a left footed kicker. 17 minutes gone in the first half as John Dillon prepares to attempt to increase the Clune lead as he chips that one in. He chips it over and that makes it now one goal and two points to Clune, one point to Arvaz. John Casey with the kick out. Out towards the centre. Tapped down by Fintan McIntyre to Jerry Gallogley, who was blocked as he tried to get through there. And free to Arbas out there in the centre. Colin Morton to take it. And he getting it up there now. Fintan McIntyre. Brendan Conway out there with them. Ball tapped back down there to Francis Fitzpatrick, who lobbing it in towards the general direction of the goal. And ball inside now to Joe Casey in front of the goal. And Adrian Charles coming out and blocking that one down. And it's over the end line at the expense of a 45. Joe Casey, the redhead in there who in underage football a few years ago was known as the steamroller. Well, didn't just quite steamroll through there as the Arvass. People would have liked it. And we have a 45. Now let's see who's going to take it. Pat McCabe is out there and I'm sure Pat will take it. Oh, 
And Pat with the kick now. Curling out towards the corner. Joe Casey in possession. Joe McNamee out there with him. Joe Casey with the shot right across the face of the goal mark. Ball hopping out over the inland to the right of the goal on her right. And it's gone wide and the score remains. 1-2 for Clune. One point for Avas as Adrian Charles prepares to take the kick out. And here it comes out in the general direction of Thomas Kelher. But the ball is tapped down there now by Michael Fitz and Pat McCabe in possession. On the ground, free, says Tommy Moran. Fintan McIntyre to take the free. And a left for a kick from Fintan that's gone out across the wire to the right of the goal on our right, gone wide, score remains. One, two to one point, 20 minutes gone in the first half. 17 of which we have on film. He'll just come to his fingers, that's coming. Cool. Nobody does, I don't do it. He ain't for me. I'm trying to show him these matches. I don't bother with them at all. I wouldn't mind it. I haven't done one in years. I was never in pain. I don't want to do them. I'm not saying these crowd I'm... And Adrian Charles' ticket coming out there now to Thomas Kelleher. Thomas clearing that one up, but Jerry Gallagher breaking it up there now. Jerry for Ahavas. Dodging past Frankie Bohan there and lobbing that one down towards an open space, a space that's filled for a moment by Joe Casey, who was obstructed there, and a free into Ahavas. <laughs> Joe Casey to take this one. At least I think he is. He's standing back anyway. And Joe's kick is high. It's strong and it's over the bar to narrow the gap. Joe Casey, the scorer of that one. And that makes it now 1 2 to two points. Tune the leaders. And 21 and a half minutes gone in the first half. This game not really coming to life yet. But, well, there's another 30-odd minutes or so to go, and who knows what'll happen before the hour is up. Adrian Charles to take the kick out. Out was the far side. And Dutch Doherty in possession. Send it out towards the sideline on the far side of the field, out over the sideline, far side of the field. It was intended for Frankie Bohan. It never made it to him, and there is a line ball. Jerry Gilogli to take it. Down along the wing and out over the sideline. Line ball to Clune, Mick Hart down there. Mick's kick up along the sideline. That's Damien Brennan in possession. Damien Duffin did that for John Dillon. Anthony McKeon in there with them. Anthony fouling him. And a free into Clune and sure. Another kick for the left foot of John Dillon. And John chipping that one in. And he chips it wide and the score remains 1-2. The two points, clean the leaders. Twenty-three and a half minutes gone in the first half. Kick out out into the centre, and that one tapped down there now as Adrian Nichols goes back. Didn't quite collect, but was fouled and. A free out to the half-ass lads. Adrian holding the back of his head there. Frankie, 
and Adrian to take the free up there to us, Sean. Sean looking for support and then sends it away down along the far side for Francis Fitzpatrick to race out to. Mick Hart out there with him, Francis out over the sideline, far side of the field, another sideline kick. Big half at the kick. And Colin Morden pulling on that one. Pat McCabe chipping it down in there now to Kieran Nickel. Thomas Taylor racing after Kieran Nickel getting that one up. Left and across into the centre for Joe Casey to come out to Joe McNamee there with him. And the battle of the Joes. At the ball breaks on the loose. Francis Fitzpatrick collecting it there, was fouled as the ball came down and a free in to Ahabas. This one slightly to the right of the goal on our right as Jerry Keeney is down injured. <coughs> a switch of half forwards, I think. In the Coon team, as Kevin Doherty moves to the left wing and Sean to the right, and Joe Casey preparing to take this free, he takes it as curling way, way out there towards the left, out over the end line, and has gone wide. Score remains 1 2 to 2 points, and almost 26 minutes gone in the first half. Adrian Charles' kick out towards the sideline. Dutch Doherty back there to collect it. Surrounded and fouled out there. And another free out. And Mick Hart kick. Brought down there for a moment by Sean Nicol who didn't hold on to it. And Damian Brennan getting it up out over the sideline. Far side and another line ball. Sean McKernan playing at right half forward on the Ahabas team. Or maybe he just moved over there. That's Joe McNamee who was coming out there. And the ball again gone out over the sideline. The far side of the field. And those people on the far side, well, certainly they're seeing a lot more of the ball and a lot more of the play than the ones on this side. And Colin Morden lobbing that one in there. Joe Casey breaking it down for Finton McIntyre. And Brendan Conway pulling on it. Ball going way down there towards the corner flag. Mick Hart back there to try to pick it up. They're still tussling for it. And Colin Morden floats that one across the end there. Sean Nickel it is. Sean Nickel brought down as he tried to work his way through. And a free into Arvast there, slightly to the left of the goal on her right. And Joe Casey to take it. Just over two minutes to half time and just one goal between them. And now there's just two points between them as Joe Casey taps that one over. His second of the game is second from a free. That makes it now five points to three if we convert it into points. Clown the leaders. Scores each. Yep. <laughs> and Adrian Charles' kick out out towards this side. Michael Fitzpatrick bringing it down. Kevin Doherty collecting it there. And the kick away up there. Adrian Nickel coming out and grabbing that one. Fisting it out there now for Pat McCabe. Pat McCabe tried to bounce it on the far side. The bounce didn't work. Pat kicking it across the centre now where Sean Nickel has got to go back for it. Sean Nickel tapping it up there now. And Michael tapping that one in there now towards Kieran Nickel. The ball coming back to Michael Fitzpatrick. 
and play being waved on there. And now the referee, Tommy Morden, has blown the whistle and has awarded a free to Wahabas. Colin Morden to take the free. And he sends it across in there now. The ball eventually chipped inside. And that's Sean McKernan who gets it and sends it over the bar to narrow the gap to just one point. A little bit of a mix up there. With the ball going bubbling about and Sean picking that one up and sending it over. And Alabas now trailing by just one point and having played against this breeze in the first half. Here comes Adrian Charles with the kick out. And Tommy Morden has blown the whistle, and it is half time. And so here at half time, it's one, two, two. Four points, and the teams go for their half time break. We'll take ours and hope to be back with the story and the pictures. The second half is on. I see some switches in the Alvas uh, team. We'll tell you about them in just a moment. But it's Colin Morden who's lining up at centre field. But that is Adrian Nickel grabbing that one. That's the Alvas uh, fullback grabbing it up and cleaning it up here now. Mick Hart going across and grabbing it for Clune. And Mick sending it down to oh. Kevin Doherty on the far side of the field. Oh. And Sean McKernan and Sean Nickel in a bit of a mix up there. And it was Sean Quinn who was coming away with it. Fouled by Francis Fitzpatrick. And there is a free out. Pat McKay playing at centre half forward and uh, we'll sort the positions out as the game goes on. It could be Finton McIntyre who's gone into midfield. As Michal Quinn kicks that one down towards the corner, Damien Brandon in possession trying to make an angle for himself. Turned too many times and a free out and Jerry Gillogby taking it quickly. Michael Fitzpatrick up there now to Pat McCabe. Ball gone off, Pat out over the sideline on the far side of the field where it has gone quite a number of times in the first half. And so Thomas Kelleher preparing to take the line kick. And Adrian Nichols kicked that down, Damien Brennan chasing in after it there, and he sends it in, and it's a goal! And if Damien had a little miscalculation in shot in the early stages of the first half, certainly there was no doubt about that bullet. 2-2 to four points, turn the leaders. And John Casey's kick out. John Quinn in possession. Surrounded out there, trying to get up. And Tommy Morden calling for the ball. And he's going to throw it up between them. And Michal Quinn trying to get away is fouled as he tries to do so. And there is a free to tune out there on the far side. Kevin Doherty preparing to take it. It points to four if we convert it into points. As Kevin kicks that one in and Anthony McKernan coming out, clearing that one out there to Sean McKernan. Sean being challenged out there, still in possession. Up here to Francis Fitzpatrick, a push in the back, very obvious push in the back there by McCart out there in front of us and a free to our pass. Fintan McInherd to take the free down there in front of us. Oh, 
Dumping that one across in there now. Miho Quinn not quite getting to it. That's yours, Dutch! And Dutch Doherty chasing the hopping ball and dropping it inside there now for Jerry Mulvey, who's going in in front of the goal. John Casey, the goalkeeper, comes out and shoulders him to the ground. The play goes on there. And Damian Brennan and John Casey tossed him for it, and the umpire is signaling that it's gone wide. As Jerry Mulvey is down injured. McKiernan clearing that one. Sean McKiernan in possession very near the sideline. The linesman flagging that he was out over the sideline and Thomas Kelleher to take the line ball. Right for the one, dropping across in toss to centre. And Jerry Gilogli trying to work his way out with it. Sending it up across the side of the field. Francis McPatrick, the bounce beats him, but it doesn't beat McHart. Joe Casey coming out there as the ball is kicked out over the sideline, this side of the field. And it is a sideline kick to Ahavaz. Sean McKernan taking a step for it up there towards Francis Fitzpatrick. He's in possession, tackled and fouled out there by McCart and a free to Abbas, stand there in Andrus. Pat McCabe removing the gloves there as he prepares to take the free. <laughs> and Pat dropping that one across in there in front of the goal, ball breaking on the loose. And now it's Michal Quinn who gets it, and Michal clearing it out towards the far side. Ball's gone very near the sideline. Jerry Mulvey trying to keep it in play, and Tommy Morden saw that there was a boot a little bit high there, and there is a free two clear on the far side of the field, and Michal Quinn to take it. Jerry Gilogli. And Jerry clearing it way, way up there. And Pat McCabe now trying to work his way in. Pat McCabe coming in, takes the shot, and he sent it wide. A ball he passed it there. Towards the corner. Just didn't work out as he had intended. Score remains two goals and two points to four points and clearing the leaders as Adrian Charles prepares to take yet another kick out. And in the game, and Frankie Bohan gone off, the clown team, as Sean Quinn grabs that one, trying to get away there from the centre of the field. Kevin Doherty getting a bit to it, Jerry Keeney bringing it down there now. And the red-headed Jerry turning defence into attack as he drops that one up, it's going to hop inside there. It doesn't, as Joe McNamee grabs it, and Joe clearing that one. That's your Sean Quinn. I the centre, Sean Quinn and Jerry Keeney, and it's Michal Quinn who comes away with it. Adrian Nickel trying to work his way out, and Adrian sends it left footed over towards this side. Sean McKiernan tapping it back there, but he taps it back into the arms of. And that's Damien Brennan in possession. Inside for John Dillon, who forgot something that's called a football. And Michael Fitzpatrick. Michael tapping it up down out to Jerry Keeney. Jerry Keeney sending that one in there now. For Joe McNamee and Joe Casey tussled for it on the free in and just all along for the first half and the early stages of the second, the wing halfbacks have been called the wrong names because of the way I got me line out. Thomas Kaler is the dark haired lad wearing number five, and Corey Quinn is that fair haired number seven. And sorry, lads, for the misidentification. That's Joe Casey sending that one over. But that was how I got it. Anyway, from here on in, we hope to get it right. Two-two. 
two to five points. And Adrian's kick out, and that is Holy Quinn will get him right this time, I hope. John Dillon, Sean McKernan. Sean going back to try to make an angle from set out to Anthony McKernan. Anthony McKernan left for a kick up here to Joe Casey. Joe Casey tapping it inside there for Colin Morden. But Michael Quinn was back there to play it back. Seamus Turnan playing it out there to Dutch Scaherty. Jerry Keeney breaking it down there, being chased by the Dutch. He's down. Well, he was. The referee is through the bus and the free is the plan. Big heart to take it. And Big kicking that one down. Miho Quinn in possession. Miho's fouled and the free will be taken. Or will it? Thomas Keller preparing to take it. Now he's leaving it to Brendan Conway. We should be killing time. We're against the wind. Just over 12 minutes gone in the second half as Brendan Conway hesitates for a moment, players too near the ball. And that one kicked across in there towards the centre. Kevin Doherty, his kick half blocked down. Jerry Gillogby trying to get out with it. Damien Brennan trying to stop him. And Jerry kicking that one away up the centre towards Joe Casey and Joe McNamee. Joe McNamee tapping it down to Brendan Conway. Brendan tapping it across there now for Thomas Kelleher. And they're still tossing for it down there in front of us. Far side of the field, Joe Casey out to try to get it. It won't come up for him. It does now between his knees, which is not permitted, says Tommy Morton, and there is a free to two. 2-2 to five points, 13 minutes gone in the second half of a game that will as yet to come to life. It's fits, it fits. Porrick Quinn dropping that one down, fisted on by John Dillon there. And Jerry, Mul Jerry Mulvey dropping that one across there now, and the Dutch hoping for it to hop as it might to him. It didn't, it went out over the end line, it's gone wide, and the score remaining 2 2 to five points, just over 14 minutes gone in the second. I, I see you after the game. Okay. Damien Brennan shouldering Sean McKernan off that one there. Tapping it back to Sean Quinn, Sean De Nickel there with them. And Kevin Doherty getting a hand to it, ball gone out over the end line, gone wide, and the score remaining. Halfway through the second half, 2-2 two -two to five points. Kick out, out to Sean McKeelan, but he was waiting for it to come to him. Thomas Taylor went and got it. And that's Adrian Nickel in possession for Ahabas. Adrian kicking it out high, out towards the sideline. His brother Sean out there to get it, very near the sideline, out over the sideline, in possession, and another sideline kick. Okay. Jaden Brennan, a kick this high, this curling out, curling wide, and the score still remaining, 2-2 two, two to five points. John Casey's kick out. And Damien Brennan, Damien kicking it in, kicking it high, and kicking it over the bar to increase the tune lead. That makes it now two goals and three points to five points. Damien Brennan, the scorer of that one. And John Casey's kick coming out there now. Michael Quinn in possession. Michael Quinn kicking that one down for John Dillon down in the corner. Still John Dillon in possession, working his way in. And the referee is going to switch. And... Seamus clearing it out. Sean Nickel. Joe Casey to take the 45. We're into the final minute of the game. He taps it over. No, he didn't. He tapped in front of the goal. And now uh, coming out with it there is Michael Quinn. He gets it out. We were off the air for a portion of that game due to power problems. And now the, the ball is in. It's Sean McKernan. He's trying to work his way through. And the referee is going to pass. Steamroller with the shot, it hit the crossbar and came back into play. 
and it's John Nickel. John Nickel's goal! Goal from John Nickel! And is that the shot that will put Abbas into Division 1? Ten points to nine. Out comes the kick out, one point between them. And this is Caden Brennan. Oh, what a finish! And a free to Ahabas. That dramatic last second goal from Sean Nickel, and for the second year in succession, Clown have failed in their bid to win the Division Two final. And one wonders now if they will look back and, well, will Damien rue the miss in the first 30 seconds? Well, it could happen to anybody, and, well, there's a little bit of a disagreement out there. Out here in front of us, as uh, players and officials, well, that's better to see players and officials congratulating one another. But from your cameraman, Sean Degman, from the commentator, Tommy Tai, is the power of the battery once again goes very low with Ahabas gone into Division 1 of the Leitrim Senior Football League. We will say from from Riley Park, Sean Aguipulair. And if Sean thinks he has enough time to film the presentation, he possibly will do so.